he's going to get hit by all these wolf hits, like all these wolf hitboxes. But I don't know, Kira's just really experienced with Rob. He's been playing this character for such a long time. He knows how to find his way around these, like, so-called difficult matchups. Yeah. And, uh, I don't know, maybe this matchup can't be too horrible because, like, uh, Wadi is able to do so well in NBA with all the wolves they have with the, this solo route pretty much. So uh, let's see what happens here. Kira already off to a really good start. Well, that's kind of one of those things, right? Like, he, he kind of has a really good track record against players like ZD and Light um, for Wadi. So, like, wolf's recovery is, is it isn't the same, but it's kind of more or less close to the same to how Fox works. Oh, oh what Z a confirm. And into man. The side B. That was clean from Kira Flex. Starting off swinging in this game. Man, Kira looking like he wanted to be part of the highlight reel. Oh, the interruption of the wolf flash with the forward air. Charlie trying to play as aggro as he can, give all these combos. Nice. See up air out. Gyro's coming back down. Where are you going to go? Oh my goodness, interruption again. <laughs> that gyro hitbox is really silly. Nice. Great spacing from Kiraflex right now. Oh, no invincibility on the ledge. What's he going to do here? Nice. F tilt. Still living, though. Stalls for as long as possible. Charlie's looking for that edge guard. Oh. Once again, he's looking for that spacing, but Kira looking oh, to get man. the corner carry off the down tilt. Oh, man. Charlie's getting really thirsty for this kill right now, and Kira Flex is just eating it all these uh, punishes up. Takes his time landing. He oh, my goodness. He got away with that. I can't believe it. But there's a dash attack. Yeah. It looked like you were trying to land with an air and anticipate Charlie's like up smash, but he's also very cautious around it. Okay, see what Wolf can do here. Oh my goodness, barely missing that back there. There's the side B though. No gyro. Good shield pressure here. Nice calls out the jump, and yeah. it's just enough to kill. Kira Flex only taking 50%. Oh, air dodges into the down smash. So that's not a good look. Don't want to give Charlie these free punishes. Nice. Oh my goodness, got the trip as well. We're getting all the free damage from the down tilt. Why not? Okay, Charlie giving it some good chases here. Not going to get the stock though, but really good percent. Oh, near to the forward air. Another free punish there. Charlie's nice. the flashes have gotten blown up so far. You're looking to take press oh, on more, but that there. back air, yeah. Okay. Let's see what Charlie can do. Let's see if his low percent strings are here. And it looks like they are. Big stuff here for Charlie. Tech's away from the down tilt, but Kira Flex still trying to apply some pressure right now. Okay, watch out for the gyro. He gets out of there. Charlie forcing his way in here. Oh, big back there. Now where's he gonna go? Trying to stall his recovery. Oh, oh still back. nice. Still able to survive. Pretty much even game. Game one so crucial. You can tell Kira oh. was fighting for it, but that early side beat might have cost them a little bit too much. Good patience from Charlie to not uh, get hit by that gyro at the ledge. But there's a down throw into yep, the that's up it. air. And that's enough. Wow. Game one going to Kira Flex. Looking really good right now. Yeah. We got to fix these names, though. We do. Yeah, there we go. There we go. And Kiraflex looks really strong on FT. He's just performed super well on this stage consistently so far. Let's see what Charlie. It could, it could honestly just be at the stage that he, that he, you know, he's most comfortable with. All right, well, let's go on to the oh, next one. we're going back on FD. I'm surprised. But uh, let's see what Charlie can do here. Does he have the answers he needs to get the 1-1? One, one? Find out here at MSM. Okay. I think Charlie wants to slow down the game a little bit because he tried to force a lot of things before. I think that's just nature of, like, fighting a character like Rob where he's such a big body. And you're a character like Wolf who has all these combos. Mm -hmm. But, uh... Kirflash shut that strategy down pretty hard. So let's see what he can do when he kind of like plays it patient, doesn't force too many things, and just gets the damage he can. 
Nice. Gets the reads the get up attack. Looking for a possible fall, but he only gets the nair, and he's looking to find Charlie's line, but he comes back hot with the nair. Okay. Clean back air from Kiraflax. Let's see if you can pressure him at the ledge here a little bit longer than normally. Nice. Free punish. I like it. Doesn't even go for a re grab. Just goes for a jab just to make sure Wolf is going to be away from him. Spacing once more. Kira looking for that opportunity here. He's able to find it, but so far, Charlie's showing signs of respect. Like, okay, yeah, he's going to go for a gyro for a reason. Oh. Barely missing the back here. Downs out. Looking oh, for the follow up. What an angle. He angled it up his wolf flash to catch that. That was interesting. Nice. Let's go of ledge. Good opportunity. That'll take the stock. No, oh, Charlie's DI. still living. Great DI. Okay, yeah, Charlie's definitely playing this much slower than before. And uh, I don't blame him. He doesn't want to force anything to let uh, Kirifax get any free punishes. Yeah, he's making those adaptations that he kind of needed the first game, but oh, immediately Kira man, strikes not, back. Yeah, not holding shield on that side B. I guess he just didn't expect him to do that. Oh no, he's throwing out the side B in some really weird timings. Or oh, thought he could mix up Charlie a little bit there, but not gonna get the grab he's looking for. Oh. I respect that tech chase. Yeah. I like that Kira didn't give it to him for free though. I thought he would uh jump back into the up smash. Alright, Charlie's keeping up all the pressure on the shield, making it really hard for Kira Flex to get started. But there's the F choke. He has a gyro out and Kira's just trying to see if he can force him to run into it, but Charlie's playing really patiently around the projectile. If anything, he's been using the gyro even better than Kira Flex has. <laughs> Nice. Yeah, I really like what Charlie's doing here with the gyro, but there's a tech chase down smash. Nice. Back hit of Nair. That gives Charlie the passage back to the stage. Is he going to I was going to say, is he going to set oh. up for the gyro? Good opportunity. No invincibility here, but sneaks in the up air. Yeah. Charlie a little bit too close to the ledge trying to get the edge guard. I would have loved to have seen him go for the spacing that he kind of had over, Ma like, over Master Mario. Yeah. Would have made more sense there. Good parry. Can he read the landing oh. option, but he gets a solid trade with the Nair. Still, though, 126. Not too hard for Rod to take this stock without taking too much damage. I say that, but then he gets forward air string all the way across the stage. Misses a tech. Charlie taking up all the damage he can on this. 74%. And now he's chilling with the laser. Why not? Trying to force that your opponent to approach. Gets the berry. But he misses the up air. Charlie looked he was mashing for dear life. Oh, and the my goodness. sweet spot, he doesn't auto stun the ledge or kill Rob, but he's able to survive. Side beat, that'll do it, yeah. Charlie has 93% on Kira. This is definitely still his game, but he has to be careful how he gets comboed. Yeah, Kira can probably bring this back, but it's not gonna be easy. Still, that's a good start. 41%, staying under him. Gotta watch out for the laser though. Oh, Wow. Yep. Wow. It's hard. It's, it's hard. It's hard. It's hard. It's hard to actually really do that. Let's be honest. Yeah, that was like the perfect trajectory of the neutral air to send him uh, to connect the uh, wolf flash there. And good stuff for Charlie to uh, close out that game because you never know. Um, if he didn't go for that kill confirm, then Kira could have possibly brought that back. So we got one one. Uh, I was surprised he was able to just run it back to FD and do that well, but here comes Dark Pit now. Kind of curious to see what his uh, thought process is here to go for this character switch versus Wolf of all people, but we're back on FD again. These guys love this stage. You know, I'm here for it. Normally, we just see people go to PS2 all day. <laughs> it's good to see a change of pace. Classic song coming out from Melee as well. It's going to go yeah. Dark Pit. He gets a dash attack. That's kind of the thing. Like, I really don't understand Kira's process, thought process with Dark Pit. Maybe just having a few more jumps in a different way. Oh, oh nice. Two frames uh, with side B. Maybe he has an easier time getting that uh, side B to, to intercept, intercept the side B in comparison to Rob. Hmm. Like the pit down smash seems like it's better for catching that in comparison to like a Rob forward smash or like down smash. 
Either here or there, though, like, oh my goodness, yep. the whiff punish. Yeah, he's just having a much easier time with uh, Dark Pit right now. Oh, nice. Falling fair into the Wolf Flash. Big damage there from Charlie. <laughs> Good use of the Guardian Orbitaris just to make sure he gets a little bit of a flag. So far for Kira, like, he's kind of continuing the train of what he had a little bit with Rob. But he's using Nair to make a small approach like that. He's got Charlie off the stage. Did good down smash. What a red roll. Oh, yeah. Kira Flash is facing like, so well. I feel like also that's one thing that Dark Pit's going to have a little bit, for him at least, oh. over Rob. is his ability to go off stage a little bit more. Yeah, he can kind of snipe the recoveries much safer than uh, Rob can. But wow, that was such a good landing trap. Going for the Orbiters to push him away and then sneaking in the side beat. Stock is crucial. Somebody wants an extra point on the board, and Lowen's oh, not going to give it up. But Charlie stayed directly under him, so he got the blind spot of the orbiter. Yeah. Wow. Also, the blind spot is also above the orbiters as well. Fair string into the up bear. It's clean 36% for Charlie. Let's see if Kirifas can work with his lead. That's not the best trade for him, but he still gets the down air to connect. Oh, man. Big damage here for Charlie. Yeah, and he's got, he's got Kira at the ledge. He was looking to get that spacing for the oh. forward smash, but Kira's so far continuing it on. Oh, my goodness. Going so crazy off stage, but there's a new flare still keeping him in control a little bit here. Okay, so let him get to the ledge. Can he get the grab to get the forward throw? That might kill. He's looking for spacing yet again. He kind of wants Charlie to come in so he get the whip on him. Oh, Charlie's nice. playing a little caution, but that dash attack was something Charlie did not see coming out. Nice, really good ledge pressure here. Gonna go for the fourth throw? Yeah, stage control. No re no reason to go for back throw. Uh, fourth throw, pretty good. Oh, man. Now, now the tables have returned. We saw Kiraflex go in for two neutral airs, but Charlie kind of had the spacing enough to punish him for it. Yeah. He felt, he, if he felt safe going with those neutral airs like I would a Palutena main, but you have to be careful. Yes, yeah, sometimes that move isn't even the, the most consistent either. Like, I see people fall out of it occasionally. The pit neutral air, that is. All right. Nice string here for Charlie. Keeping his lead pretty uh, solid intact here. Oh, no tech chase. Kira just dropping these punches, letting Charlie build his lead. Oh, man. Really dangerous down smash. Yeah, Kira's trying to slow it down here, so I'm pretty good openings he can to get this comeback. Relatively easy right now. He's a oh, man. space. Yeah, and Charlie just hunting for this opportunity to catch a spot dodge. It's good that Kira's also staying on the ground here because he went for an aerial. That back air might have been the one, the biggest part of his worries. Oh, man. He's got to be really careful. For Charlie right yeah. now. Oh, my gosh. I thought that up was going to get clipped. Dash tag seeing him off the stage yet again. Kiraflex looking for an opportunity to come back here, but there's a nair from the ledge. Oh, really risky roll there. <laughs> All right. Kira slowing it to a pace here. He kind of knows I, I kinda might have the game here, but I have to play patient. Yeah, he's not letting Charlie get away with anything for free. That G out on the fourth though, not the best. Back air. Oh, yep, I was going to say at that ball. point. At that point, back air is going to be one of the moves he's going to be able to catch Charlie, and he hasn't gone wow. for that. He hasn't gone for back air at all. So Kira Flex up 2 0 against Charlie. You mentioned how he might be looking for a second potential yeah, PR win. Man, it's. This would be really big for him. Got a top 10 win. The two top 10 wins, I believe, right? Charlie's also top 10, I guess. Yeah. Actually, I think I have the PR on my phone. Soak out Smash Lee. Or was it? No, was it called? <laughs> SoCal Smash.net. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was gonna say, like, I don't use it ever, but you know, shout out to Michael. Shame Mico. on you, man. Shout out to Michael. SoCal Smash.net is the only website that allows you to keep up with all the locals here in SoCal. Yeah, I'm really. I'm not sure what rank Charlie is. I feel I'll, like he's I'll tell you. Team. I'll tell you right now. Actually, it's kind of loading up. But we're back on FD. Look at like all FD set here. Kira Charlie, with the Charlie is ninth. On the PR. So he would get the 10th and 9th place of PR wins if he's able to beat Charlie right now. And so far, the way he's kind of playing the game is using those arrows. Nice dash back off follow up, and he knows Charlie's trying to come back on oh. the scene of the crime because Wolf's recovery pretty linear from the sides. Oh, yeah, this is a really good lead. Nice, catching the roll again. I'm so happy for Kira Fox's Nair's actually working because normally that move, like, 
they just fall out of it. But it's been working for him in almost every scenario. Looking like Palutena is here, honestly. Yeah, he's catching Charlie, jumping preemptively. One more again. time, yeah. Well, that's the thing, too, is that Charlie's still used to going for forward airs, near back air. So when you have Hero kind of just kind of countering that gameplay, it's really hard to start to formulate a different game plan. Once more, again, he had the edge card set up here. I would have loved to have seen Charlie go for the spacing that he kind of had over Master Mario. Yeah. Oh, big back is. air. Wow. First that was... blood. First blood from Charlie. Man, that was beefy back air. Let's see if uh, Kira can bring this back pretty quickly without taking too much percent. Charlie's been showing that he can definitely slow down the pace of the game when he wants to. But he's not letting Kira get anything for free. He's just weighing him out, trying to see if he can approach. Get the eye on the dash attack, staying alive just a little bit longer. Nice. Not going to get the four to kill. Gets this arrow snipe, though. Oh, too early with the neutral air. It looked like he was going for like a narrow like off stage at USC from Palutena. <laughs> yeah, it might have actually worked too. That's definitely one of those things I oh, haven't really seen. Yeah, shield shield drop. Oh, that was a show. Sorry, shield drop. Well, it's kind of one of those things too. I don't really, you don't really see too many pits. Honestly, it's kind of one of those characters that's really underrepresented. Yeah. And I the mean, only one we kind of have here is Kirifax. Yeah, pretty much. I don't know. A lot of people just think Pit isn't. Uh, that's solid of a character in this game. Like, I feel like I feel like he is. It's just there's. So, I feel like in this game for sure there are more high tiers than there were in the last game. Yeah. Good follow up. Kirflex setting up the up air, forcing trying to go back to the ledge. He's able to dodge the sec, the first dash attack, but not the second. Kiro looking to possibly get take this three one over Charlie. I mean, it's kind of close. This next lock gonna really uh, hop up that possibility for Kira, but so far he's gonna find out how to land. Charlie's been keeping him at the ledge, just getting hit back and forth over and over. And I mentioned it earlier too, because Pitt can have a struggle to land. He's oh. he's he's got some he's got a lot of jumps. Air movement speed, not the fastest. Nice. Kira just carrying all these lasers. Oh, it's off stage yet again. How's he gonna bring this back? He's in such a bad spot. There's a Nair again catching the jump. I think Kira wanna go for like a ledge jump, fair or Nair. Charlie calling it out. Oh, man. I thought he was going to go for it down there from the, uh, the Falling Fair. Still, though, this is a good percent for Charlie. So much ledge pressure. Yeah. Another down tilt catching him before he can even get to the ledge. Yeah, this is like 58% just from ledge trapping alone. Part of why Wolf is so strong in this game. He has so many tools to keep you in like tech chase situations over and over. Down throw. Doesn't get the back air. I mean, that percentage is not going to be a confirm at all. Kiraflex still fighting for dear life here. Looking to pull oh, in. That's going to be a bad trade. trade. Up B. The kick trading with the pit back You can there. see that smirk on Charlie's face. <laughs> He's like, yo, man, you got robbed by that trade. <laughs> I mean, we take He's them. rubbing the hands, man. We take those. We take those, man. If you're going to go off stage versus a wolf, up B, you got to uh, be prepared to take the consequences for that. That is true. So I mean, you kind of have to know the ins and outs of your character in general, right? Like the weaknesses and the strengths. And that's one of those things that's kind of expected of any player to know. Mm. So here we are. Game five of the winner's finals. Let's see if we go to a different stage this time. Going back to the Rob. Yeah. Game five here. Both players 2-2 two, two apiece here. Only one's going to advance the, the winner's okay. side of grand finals. The other going to have to sit down and losers. Yeah, and it'll be a really big statement for Kirifax to get this uh, win over Charlie. But let's see if he can do it. He was able to win the first game, I believe, with Rob. Let's see if he can get another one. Nice combo there for Charlie. Yeah, so another thing, though, about this matchup is this. you're super susceptible to Wolf's low percent strings. Nice. Waiting out the spot dodge. Nice, look at the catch and landing against Charlie. Oh, he caught the gyro. That's the last thing Kira Flex wanted. Charlie, again, has been showing he's so good at using the gyro against uh, his opponent. It's almost to the point where you don't want to let him even get the opportunity to use the gyro at all. Okay. Mm -hmm. Nice. Forward Back up all throw. percent. He's waiting for Kira to make the landing option here. What's more, and this is something we kind of see Charlie starting Ooh, to feel it. He so finally good. gets that spacing he had. 
Man, he, he wasn't being able to go for that all he, set long. Yeah, he completely ran out of invincibility at the ledge, so that F tilt was going to connect guaranteed there. Big damage, and what a great extension using that up tilt. Gets the berry, waits for the landing, oh, and a good wow. read. Nice. Yeah, Kirov needs all the hits he can get to bring this back before Charlie gets carried away with the momentum right now. <laughs> Good opportunity to use the blast to toss back the gyro. Yeah, he's just playing around the gyro so well. Great episode after pressing the shield. Another big back air. Charlie just getting every hit he wants right here. Charlie Off stage, yeah, the game's gonna make him burn the gas. Oh, the mix up with the landing side B. Let's him get back to the stage finally. Took so oh. much percent. Oh my goodness, that wolf flash almost connecting. Good no. mash again from Charlie. Free hit here. Go for down the down smash. smash. Yeah. yeah, that's just he enough to kill. He caught him on the landing, and that's one of those things about wolf flash. Is the landing isn't that great. Dash oh, tag. Man. I mean, there's two stocks of peace, man, but I'm seeing the high percent on Charlie and Kier Flax. Yet to have touched the ground. Charlie sends him to the other side. Go to reflector. Is he looking for spacing here? I kind of respect the fact that he went for down smash. I would have loved to have seen down up smash, though. Yeah, up smash, but it would cover behind him like it did before. Let's see if Kirifax can bring this back, though. He's really struggling to get in on Charlie right now. Back at the ledge again. Going to sneak in the laser, though. Let's him get some stage control back, but still, Charlie just keeps hitting him from one stage to the uh, end of the stage to the next. And there it is yeah. again. No more invincibility. That yeah. F-tilt range is so far. The higher percent you're at, the less time you have to hold the ledge without getting hit. Kirifax going super high. I'm not sure what he's trying to accomplish here, wasting all of his gas. But uh, <laughs> Charlie just like waste, watched him do that for free pretty it, much. It's kind of like stalling the inevitable. Yeah. Potential last stock. Last stock in winner's bracket for Kirifax. Trying to get this upset over Charlie, but Charlie's just building his lead with every little hit. A big back air again, and that'll and the, do yep, it. Yep, that'll do it. Takes 3-2 over Kirifax. Game 